Dark Elf wants to go on ahead, let him. Better than us risking our necks. What if Arvel doesn't come back? I want my share from that clone. Just shut it. Keep an eye out for trouble. Let's see what you've got.
Don't let it get me! Help! Uh. Keep it away from me! Say. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You, over here. Me for our case sake. It's coming loose. I can feel it.
Coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone?
You see? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older We've text. We've got nothing to talk about. Perhaps dating to just after... Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls me. Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun... Leave me alone. No, we can stop it. Mind your own business. Let's go. We've got nothing to talk about. Starb cloaks, Imperials, Jargons. You came from the Western no Watchtower? Let yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. <gasps> Be careful! I've seen you helping the Yard. If only all this to white run where it's over.
No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Let's save us. Here he comes again. You don't stand a chance.
I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Boosh! That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in... forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a Nord. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. That was the hairiest fight. I'm taking command here for the moment. You head back to Whiterun and let the Jarl know what happened. Look, you've already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. I've been looking for you. We're causing Got no something trouble. I'm supposed to deliver. All we Your ask hands to only. Oh. Let's see. Ah. Looks like that's it. Got to go. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information. A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell, a Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. She cannot hide from us forever. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. What do you need, handsome? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. The guards in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. Please, we need to speak in private. Are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. Yes? So the Alakir know where I am? 
What did they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Then I need your help, and there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. Just about done. Any news of the Alakir? We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny. Hmm? Nope. Sorry. Nothing. What are you doing that for? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to... The finest weapons and armor. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Every- Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that.
do come back. It's the a shame, of isn't it? Tamriel! And there it is, friends. The ugly truth. We are the children of man. Talos hey. is the true Spare god me. of man. Ascended from flesh to rule the realm of spirit. The very idea is inconceivable to our elven overlord. Sharing the heavens with us? With man? Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth! Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take you? You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeard. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Thundering sound. As you return to Whiterun, that was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. Boom! his name with that, cool. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Back to business for them. One of the new servants? The Jarl has Remember appointed me to be your house, Carl. Air. It's an honor to lead the way. I can 
To make a dress, Dagny, you have to be patient. But I don't want to be patient. I want my dress right now. Father promised. All you ever do is complain about what you want. You're a spoiled baby. I'm going to tell Father you said that. He'll tan your hide for sure. One goal. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I ain't done nothing. 